Hello everybody, Bugly and I here. Today I want to show you how you can use Zoom that you get a free subscription to to do a recording of your of your screen. Uh, you can use it to do a PowerPoint presentation, whatever you want. Uh, same with anything else. So how do we do that? Today I'm using ScreenShot to do this recording of how to use Zoom. Kind of a meta recording, if you will. So let's go ahead. The first thing we have to do is start up Zoom. So we're going to go here to our launch pad. We're going to find Zoom. There's Zoom. We're going to start up Zoom. Uh, you can get Zoom free. Just Google it. I'm sure you've heard of it. We're going to join a meeting and we're not going to invite anybody else. We're just going to join this meeting and we're going to be there by ourselves, but we're going to do a screen recording. So we wait till it gets started up. And once it gets started up, we will go ahead and hit record. Okay, so I'm recording this using screenshot, but at the same time, I'm going to do a Zoom recording. So let's start our Zoom recording by just hitting record. So I've hit record right down there. Uh, right now, it's just recording Bugly and I, but we're going to go ahead and share our screen. And once we share our screen, we can see we want our desktop. Uh, we want uh, desktop one, not desktop two. Desktop two is something else. So we share. And we're on our desktop. Right now, we're looking at the Zoom, but we're going to go over to a PowerPoint, if you will. There, we're sharing the PowerPoint. And we can go ahead and start this PowerPoint and start the presentation. And we're recording. We're recording this in Zoom. You see that I'm up here in the corner. Uh, hi, everybody. And we can use our Zoom tools. our pen. I like magenta. So there we go. We can use our pen to show that this is a molecular, this is an ion with a mass of 86. And that's where we see it in the mass spec. We can keep going. Uh, we can look at some of the other chemistry that occurs and we can do all that. There we go. We can record it. And now we can escape. Once we escape, I want to discard, I don't want to keep my annotations, and we captured all that. You'll see it in just a second. The other thing we can do is share our iPad. So I'm going to start my iPad up here, and I'm going to go ahead and do a screen share, but instead of selecting my desktop, I'm going to select my iPhone iPad via cable. I hope it's still live and working. Go ahead and share. And there we go. We should see it in just a second. There we go. There's my iPad. I can now go ahead and select a program. I'm going to select OneDrive because I have this doodle page in here. And in this doodle page, uh, I can go ahead and do what I want to do. I want to do some doodling. I want to go ahead and draw some chemical structures. There we see benzene, and if we wanted to brominate it, we would use Br2, and we would use maybe iron tribromide as a catalyst, and that would give us our brominated benzene. There we go. Uh, I can stop sharing that anytime I want. Uh, just by clicking up here on the stop share. So I made a couple of different videos in there. I'm now going to stop the recording. See, when we stop the recording, it tells me up top, the recorded file will be converted to MP4 when the meeting ends. So we have to end the meeting to get our recording. So I'm gonna end the meeting. Bye everybody, you won't see me again, but you will continue to hear me. I'm gonna end the meeting for all. And when I do that, this window will pop up and tell me you have a recording that needs to be converted before viewing. It's going to take a couple of seconds to do that. The longer you're recording, the longer this process takes. One of the nice things about Zoom is this will pop up in just a second and it will pop up and show me where it is. So I don't have to go looking for it. Uh, one of the nice advantages of Zoom, as long as you're patient. If you had a long recording, you might want to go and get a coffee or something or wait. Just about finished. There we go and it shows up 
Uh, it's actually putting them in the documents under Zoom, and it picked the one. You'll see I have an old one there that I made. This is the new one that we just made, and let's see what it looks like. The one thing about the Zoom recordings is they always start off black. So if you put this up on YouTube or something, that's what you'll see uh, for the record. So I've hit record right down there. Uh, right now, it's just recording Bugly and I. But we're going to go ahead and share our screen. And once we share a screen, we can see we everybody. And we go ahead and share. Do some doodling. I want to go ahead and draw some chemical structures. There, there we go. So that's how you make a Zoom recording. Let me just show you one more thing. We'll go back to Zoom. If you want to find out, uh, you go to Zoom and Preferences, and then Recording, that will tell you here's where you can set where you want it to go. You can change that if you like. Uh, record video during screen sharing. Yes, you may have to make sure that that's clicked to, to, for this to work. There's some other things here. Uh, that you can play with, but I just use this for making recordings, so I only have that clicked. Uh, there we go. That's it. So now I am going to end my screen recording.